Okay, Scott, let's look at your swim video. Okay, the first thing I want to point out from this top angle is that you're actually doing a really good job of not crossing the center line of your body. If we think about always having this line that runs through the middle of our head, out through our crotch, you're doing a good job of that arm not crossing over. So that's good. Uh, you come a little bit close when you go to breathe there, but in general, that is a good thing that's happening. Um, one thing to point out from this angle, and we talked about this while, during our session, is you're getting your full face out of the water uh, when you go to breathe. You really only need to get one goggle out of the water. Um, and if by doing that Popeye breathing, you're going to be able to get air in without having to lift so much. Um, one thing I also want to point out from this top angle is just how much your legs split apart. You can see right now that one, your leg is here, here, and down here. That's causing a lot of drag. Um, and so we're going to want to try to bring those legs together with a, uh, a better flutter kick. So one of the reasons that you're not getting much propulsion, and you can really see from this angle, is that you're pressing down and then you're also letting your arm come across and underneath your body while you're swimming. Um, you don't want it to be underneath your body. Ideally, you would want that arm sort of more here and then there. So the hand stays in line with the shoulder. Um, but you can really see when you go to breathe that this hand is now, all it's doing is pressing down and to the outside. So you're really not getting any forward propulsion until there. And now, just like we pointed out, your hand is actually underneath your body. Right arm's a little bit better than the left, but you can really see right there just how far across your body your right arm is. Doing a good job of exhaling most of the time while your face is underwater. That's good. I can catch you a few times holding your breath, like right there. So you gotta make sure that that breath is going out all the time. But yeah, the big takeaway here is how much you're pushing down. You're also gonna be able to see that here. Pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. Only now are you starting to push some water back. One thing to notice from this angle, and this is the horizontal view of that scissor kick, is just how much your legs are bending and how much they're splitting apart. Um, remember we talked about trying to kick with a really nice, relaxed, straight leg? Uh, so that's what we're aiming for, and this is kind of where you're at at the moment. Don't worry about it. That's, you know, this is all part of trying to improve. Obviously, the big thing that's going on here is this is a lot of drag. Your body's at a 20 degree angle um, as you go through the water. Um, and what we really want is we want that body to be here at a zero degree angle. So totally horizontal to the surface of the water. Um, that's going to take a little while, but uh, we'll get there. But yeah, if we can get that arm bending sooner and pressing more water back, that alone is going to bring your legs up behind you. Uh, we also really need to get you to straighten your legs while you're kicking and use your core to bring your hips up towards the surface of the water. This is some footage just from the end of the session. Um, so I don't think it's going to look much different. 
Um, but I just wanted to leave you with another top-down view. And uh, so one thing we really got to get away from is the amount of time you spend with your face out of the water. Um, and obviously we want to get away from pushing down, crossing your hand, crossing your body underneath, crossing your hand underneath your body. Um, and then we also need to work on that kick. Okay, I hope that was helpful.